All right, everyone. <clears throat> it is me, Johnson Chan. And we're up to Clown World number uh, 323. And thank you to the, I guess, one or two people that have subscribed here. I'm still making the transition from BitChute, so, you know, it's going to take me a day or two to get used to, you know, shifting back to YouTube. Which, of course, I don't like, but I also don't have a choice, so, you know. Uh, one of the interesting things is, now that I've uh, pretty much have stopped with the political stuff for now, uh, it does make me realize, hey, you know, other people can use some help, too. So, yeah, I guess it's a little bit like going back to to my roots kind of thing here. However, I don't want to do what big corporations do, which is just appeal to everybody to maximize your market gain, your brand, and all your money. Because, you know, again, the whole, you know, you got to put God first before material good stuff. And actually, I was listening to Jesse Lee Peterson. I didn't know he actually held church every Sunday or actually multiple times a week. So it's actually really good stuff. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's uh, enhancing my perspective on things for sure. Especially as I become a better Christian. Many of you should do the same as well. At the very least, you should be a, uh, a religious person, right? You know, with one of the actual recognized religions. Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, uh, Judaism, all right? No, I would still prefer people just go Christianity. It's uh, usually the, the most flexible out of all of them. Um, but uh, with that being said... Um, I spent a lot of time this morning actually on the Discord and I had to ban it some stupid and I gotta be careful because YouTube community guidelines so I can't say certain words because right? I'm not on bitch you anymore so I can't just say what I want to say which is irritating uh, some some trolling asshole was uh, you know spamming like negative shit and on top of that if he just simply took time to scroll up he would have already seen that I answered many of his objections so that's how I knew it was a troll, and I uh, just banned them. And then, problem is when it's when I when I have the prompt for banning someone, it says I could delete their messages. It used to work, but then for some reason it doesn't work. So I have to manually go in and delete the asshole's messages. It's very annoying and time-consuming. But uh, <clears throat> with that being said, um, oh well, I wound up talking to people, and uh, yeah, I realized, oh yeah, a lot of people here in the Discord probably need some sort of help. And some reassurance so you know the focus is going to be for now for me to talk to people on discord which i prefer not to do because it's very time consuming and because on top of that i already answer everything in these videos so that's why but i think it's because people don't know that so now i have to basically just grease the wheels a little bit all right so that's why we're here so anyway, first things first uh bitcoin searches for last week is still seven so google's still finalizing data for last week and they haven't released data for this week uh, cryptocurrency has finally uh, gotten over the China flu shit, so very, very nice. Uh, Bitcoin dominance is at 65.6%, so the lower the better. 24-hour volume is at 98.3 billion, uh, so, you know, it's, uh, it's a pretty decent chunk. And a nice way to actually start uh, the work week. So Bitcoin's back up to 87.54, it's up a very nice amount. Just check out these price patterns on the right-hand side. It's all going straight up, and that's what we want. Uh, looks like the uh, scam bitcoins are also going up too. <clears throat> I mean, at this point, they probably do actually have a legitimate use. I just don't like Roger Ver and Craig Wright because they're both lying scumbags. So, uh, yeah, on top of that, I figure out which one it was. I think it was Roger Ver that deliberately spammed the Bitcoin network to promote his Bitcoin cash. Because I think Craig Wright is Bitcoin SV. So, in other words, I just don't like people like that, you know, um, I don't like evil people and I definitely don't like liars. Um, oh yeah, that's the other thing too. One of the reasons why I'm not happy about giving up my political stuff, because my political stuff was a really good way to detect liars, all right? And keep, and mostly keep away the people who do not deserve to be rich, you know, out, uh, out of the loop. Because the last thing I want is somebody who's like, you know, like they, they, they want mass abortions and they want to kill lots of people and then, you know, they just want to spend their hatred all day, right? It's like, oh, well, everyone's a Nazi, everyone's a racist, oh, this guy's a Trump supporter. And then, um, you know, the other, and then on the other side, you have people like just want to like, you know, kill XYZ race or whatever. So, you know, I really don't want those people getting rich because they're also going to just 
take all my money that I teach you how to make, and then, you know, they do bad stuff. And now we have that as a side, I have to deal with that stupid, crazy, you know, uh, wig neck shit, but, you know. So what, what do I do, right? So, I don't know, but I think I have a pretty good, uh, I definitely have my litmus test that I developed. So, number, and number two, I was tell people, oh yeah, center-right conservative, and just see how they react. If they go crazy, then I know that guy or girl is a stupid fucking prick, and then I, you know, I don't want them in the community anyway. You know, because they, 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 they cling to sh the stupid material shit, instead of going, oh, okay, well, whatever, you know, it's just uh, some crazy right-wing guy, but he seems reasonable, so I guess I'll tolerate his presence. Because that's the actual correct response. Assuming you, you don't like me, right? But if you go crazy and you, you get angry and hatred, uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're a bad person, and I don't want you in the community. Because you're going to be like those assholes that come into the Discord and then they just spam your fucking trolling bullshit. Uh, and, and then you, you, you fuck it up for everyone else. But that's kind of like the point. You're, you're intentionally trying to destroy the cryptocurrency project, and it's, it's just not going to work. So, you know. But that doesn't make it any less annoying. But anyway, uh, Litecoin's at 58.86, so yeah, everything's looking pretty good. Everything's going as I have predicted, and thank God, because I've been, because we've been waiting for this for a long time, and you know, the, we, Bitcoin, everything should already be at like ten thousand dollars and above. But of course, the China flu should, you know, struck, and you know, there's always going to be a black swan random event that you just don't anticipate. Like mean, that's just a hundred percent guaranteed to happen. You just don't know when. So you know, you roll with the punches. And uh, luckily, it hasn't, uh, you know, people seem to be shrugging it off. So, very good. Dog coins at 291 million market cap. Well, a little bit under that. Mm, Steam crypto is at 16.28 cents. Yeah, I mean, I'm already committed to Steam, so I still have to keep track of it. You know, uh, it's like the cryptocurrency version of, for those of you who are new to watching this uh, video, is this one M MRRL. So, you know, this, this thing still pays 20% a year. Right now, the yield is 19.15% APR, which is really good for a stock. And this is a uh, 2x leveraged mortgage REIT uh, note uh, from UBS. So, uh, you know, it's very good. It's very good. If you need something um, more stable than cryptocurrency, this is where I go. Um, I've actually recently reinvested my dividends into buying more of this. Because now that the price is stable around fourteen dollars thirty-one cents, because it looked like it was just keep going down and down for no reason. I'm like, why is it doing that? And it was just very, it was very emotionally tilting, right? But <clears throat> so far so good. Let's see, cans at five dollars and seventeen cents. Uh, ooh, what's this? Oh wow, there's a new thing called overvalued. Um, Okay, this is purely an opinion, by the way. So don't um, don't ever invest based on other people's opinions. Well, you can do it on my opinion, but that's because I actually know what I'm doing, and I try to tell you what the truth is. And when I tell, and when I do not know something, I tell you up front, I do not know. Believe it or not, if you don't actually know something and you are aware of that, that actually ha that actually directly affects your um, your investment decisions. Because when you don't know, then the best course of action, typically 80-90% of the time, is to do nothing, right? Because the best, the best investment moves you can make are 100% obvious to you. I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but I'll mention it again because I also have to teach all of you how, also how investing actually works. The best trades that you'll ever make in your life is when you look at it, you 100% without hesitation know instantly what to do, all right? It, it it's it's just it's it's basically instant. That's how you that that's that's what you want. One day you just look at it and go, you know what? I just need to sell because I think it's just overvalued. Uh, overvalued. Now the problem with that is, yeah, yeah, you'll make a mistake. But the thing is, it's like, well, you know, uh, are you making that decision based on you know months and weeks and years of observation, or are you just doing because like you know you just read it and from someone else's opinion you've only been doing a couple of weeks and then yeah you know so that that's how that's how you have to balance it out but i mean at this point i mean you've been watching me for years so that's how you know um 
but I mean, that's the thing. It comes with experience too. So, uh, so it's not a. It's just something that you'll have to practice. Uh, but the, but luckily for you, uh, this bull market is still basically in its infancy stage, but it's about to grow up to like you know a young kid. So you know it's getting ready. JFC coin though is at two to three sub satoshi, so eh, not doing so great. Uh, but I expect it to continue to do pretty poorly because you know the main thing I think uh, holding JMC back is the fact that we've really accelerated the supply on it. The APR on it sucks uh, to compensate for the supply, and of course it has my stupid name in it. So because it was an experiment when we first created it, so definitely if this ever need, needs a coin swap, uh, it's very possible. Uh, we're definitely going to rebrand it to a, a new coin, uh, but we'll keep everything else the same and maybe we'll raise the APR on it to like 100 to 125 percent flat. And of course, in the coin swap, we're going to destroy as much of the supply as we can. So if it's got like, you know, 50 billion GMC coins, we'll destroy the supply to like, you know, 10,000. So it'll be like 10 million or 100 million GMC coins to one new coin. So, you know, and it worked with the stock city group stock all right because i remember during the dot-com crisis not dot-com the real estate crisis of 2008 2009 right the great recession or whatever uh citigroup c was at like a dollar or 33 cents then they had to do a crazy like 100 to 1 reverse stock split or something and then they raised the price now it's a lot better because uh optics unfortunately is an important thing so it doesn't look good uh especially for a stock when it's only like 33 cents and you're a worldwide brand <laughs> so uh yeah and unfortunately we have to do the same thing with uh gmc coin personally i'm not too worried about it but it, it's just annoying right but luckily we have other cryptocurrencies that's why we you know diversify our risk a little bit uh so four four coin is still going through uh, a lot of problems uh Oh wow, even broke breached 19. So the good news is whoever asshole dumping piece of shit asshole. Yeah, I have to be careful because I can't say certain words, community guidelines again. Um, you know, he he's finally run out of steam like I predicted. So I actually think he was because at first it's like, okay, maybe it's just a whale dumping his daily earnings. Well, he was dumping way more than what is even po uh, normally possible, right? I don't want to get into the math, but basically the guy was e exiting the uh, project. He left 404, he left GMC, he also left 2x2 two two coin because he was dumping all those other coins too. So it had to be somebody that was watching my material and then for some reason decided to just cave. Um, I don't know who it was because I haven't actually banned anyone during this dump, right? It was after the dump. So uh, I, I don't know. But whatever it is, the stupid asshole uh, doubter unbeliever is going to get poor. So, you know, he, he's uh, run out of steam for now. Uh, and it's already recovered back up to 19. So, the, and then somebody just bought, like, actually within the hour, like, I don't know, 10 million coins, something like that. And then before that, it was like another 5 million coins or 20 million or whatever. So, so, so four or four coins recovered, but there's still a lot of supply left to go through because the dumps was pretty harsh. Uh, it's obviously also good because everything is going up in the crypto market. So 4-4 coin and everything else goes down as everything as the major cryptos go up. But then eventually the uh, the exotic cryptos like 404 go back up too because everything's got to eventually go up, right? You know, rising tide floats all boats kind of thing. I mean, I'm going over a lot of stuff, but don't worry, I'll keep repeating and then eventually it'll just click one day and makes sense. The point is, 404 will go down, and then it'll eventually go back up. Right now, I think uh, it should eventually go back to 20 to 23. Ideally, we want it back up at the upper 20s, but, you know, again, we'll just have to see how all this pans out, you know. Um, so, uh, I don't know. It's just, if there's, as long as we don't have too many more crazy black swan events like the China flu stuff, uh, then when, you know, Bitcoin hits you know, 10, 11, 12, 13,000, even before, up, up until it halves in, I guess now two or three months, it's actually getting closer. Um, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens to photo four. Uh, two by two coin, there's not a lot of supply because it's still a relatively, you know, new coin. So the supply, so the price is still pretty stable, 56 to 60. Uh, it'll probably stay in this range for quite some time. You know, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to even get a prototype of the video game out. So, uh, you know, and I'm trying to think about legal issues and all that stuff 
because I really want my game to be where eventually you play it and then you can actually pull out real cryptocurrency out of it. So I don't know. I have to because a that there's going to be legal ramifications to that, and then b I really do want to create an incentive for people to play the game beyond it uh, beyond it just being a fun game to play. So I don't know. The only thing I could think of is maybe we run tournaments. That's actually what I think. Actually, actually, that's what I came up with. Maybe we run a tournament, right? You know, maybe we'll have a battle royale tournament, and then we'll have a uh you know and then you have the solo queue or team well team queues for my game will not be out for a while because you know that probably requires you know a lot more coding or whatever actually it may not be as bad but i want to keep i want to keep everything as solo queue and then you know that way i can keep uh things simple because i have to also balance the game too right when you have group play then that you know changes the dynamics of the game significantly so yeah, I could run tournaments actually, and then like whoever makes the most in-game currency, we'll we'll just call it credits for now, right? Because it's my game is a fantasy sci-fi thing, right? I, I actually it's it's based on my dream TV script, so we'll do that, and then we'll just have tournaments. It'll be on Twitch, and you know it'll be kind of fun to watch, right? And then you know it's like you know whoever makes the most money, whoever comes out on top in the battle royale mode, then they win like. I don't know, two million James, uh, like two million four hundred four coin or something like that. So I think I think that's what I can do. Um, yeah, and then yeah, and then we'll just go from that. <clears throat> uh, so anyway, uh, four hundred four uh, compound coins at forty four hundred to sixty two forty four. So interestingly enough, compound coins actually been going up a little bit in value too. And the buy the and the buying pressure also seems to be increasing, which is pretty impressive. So that so even if shitty compound coin can improve, that should be a good sign for you know four four coin. Um, yeah. So as you can see, yeah, the greens are starting to the buying is starting to you know pressure things back up, but still got a long way to go. So especially at twenty six, there's a guy that's selling eighteen million four four coins at twenty six substitutions. Uh, so when I click this, Crex says you will have to buy 48.2 million 404 coin. That is a lot of 404 coin. But uh, yeah, the sooner I can pump out the game and get a prototype going, uh, I think the better off we'll be. Uh, and then and then we'll be uh, Tamaguchi here. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's see. Bitcoin to blah, 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 blah. JP Morgan spinoff launches hybrid blockchain. Yeah, so JP Morgan's uh, very anti Bitcoin. Uh, and obviously, like any typical big piece of shit globalist bank, they want control of all the money, right? Because, you know, that, that, uh, that, and that's exactly why. It's very obvious, but the good news is uh, cryptocurrency people are obviously a lot smarter, right? So they're they're at least able to call this shit out. Plus, it's mostly uh, I mean a lot of conservatives like cryptocurrency, but liberals are definitely even more interested in on it. So you know at least the liberals in crypto are gonna at least some of them will go you know Bernie Sanders mode on the big banks. So that kind of like you know keeps them at bay, but uh, keeps the J.P. Morgans of the world at bay. But we still have to keep an eye on this shit because you know the banks you know what they're gonna do right. They're gonna make it so that you cannot use cryptocurrency, right? If, if you have a if you have a bank account with J.P. Morgan Chase and you tell them you do Bitcoin mining or trading or whatever, they ban your bank account immediately and they start restricting you. There's a reason why those pieces of shit do that, right? You know, because yeah, because it's a direct threat to the banking sector and that's a good thing. So um, you know, we got to keep the pressure up. All right, because they're because the banks don't want us to get rich off of crypto. We obviously do. So you know, it's just it's just the hist it's just the history of humanity, right? You know, the rich want to keep the poor people down, and the poor people want to become rich, and then on and on the cycle goes. Bitcoin gold is hit by a fifty one percent attack. Seventy two k in crypto double spits. Yeah, yeah. I saw the new Bitcoin gold, and then it was like shooting up, and then it's now yeah, it's at position thirty four. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of these stupid Bitcoin copycat forks. So, government issued digital assets will be backed by Bitcoin. That is definitely something we're gonna to want to read. Uh, okay. Oh, it's a quantitative analysis. Uh, 
Okay, so England, European Union, Canada, Sweden, Switzerland, Japan, and the EU are looking into uh, central bank coins, right? We've all predicted that, uh, so have I. Um, will they back it? I don't think they'll use Bitcoin as the backing thing. They could, but I mean, they could easily just create their own global currency standard, you know, like super global coin uh, or something like that. <clears throat> they make it a stable coin, and then all the central banks of, uh, of the world will just use that as the fundamental thing. Or the American government creates America coin quickly enough, and then just has everyone use America coin as the foundational crypto. Uh, petrol yuan, 40 years, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all right. So that was actually kind of cool. All right, that was actually technically an opinion piece, but um, yeah, that's the thing. Like, let me think. Well, I mean, the way, the, I know we're getting into really complicated shit, but the way the world's fiat currency currently stands is, you may have heard this before, the US dollar is the reserve currency of the world. So everyone everyone has their own free-floating currency, you know, the British crown, the Japanese yen, but it has to trade against someone else's uh, currency, uh, and they need something stable. So most people choose the US dollar, right, because that's the reserve currency. Uh, the second largest reserve currency, I guess you could say, is the European, the Euro. The, uh, I was going to say the European dollar, but it's really just called the Euro. So that's why they do that, because you just need a frame of reference when it comes to currency and investing, right? You know, kind of like, you know, you're sitting on something now or you're standing up. Your frame, your frame of reference when you see things is the ground, right? I've been thinking about that uh, this morning, too, because I'm trying to... Uh, design, you know, I'm thinking about the game and I want to cre create a space battle mode where you can like ride around in vehicles or spaceships or something. Because in my universe, obviously, it takes place in space. So, of course, there has to be, you know, spaceships. So, you know, uh, the problem with space is it's literally 300 dis 360 degrees of black void. So, you have no frame of reference and, you know, it just makes you dizzy. Uh, men can kind of handle it. But women have a have a huge problem with that. That's why women don't like playing space battle games, typically. So I have to figure out the frame of reference problem for that. So uh, and so it is with uh, um, investing. So uh, that's why this article here, government issued digital assets will be backed by Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, I didn't actually think of that, but I don't think it'll be Bitcoin. The the governments will probably use something else. Um, you know, but they could use Bitcoin. It doesn't really matter as long as they're just using some kind of cryptocurrency. That's all we care about. Top Bitcoin benefit naysay. Okay, so that's just in their opinion piece. All right, so let's see. What does Daily Holdo have for us today? Tether launches gold back crypto on Ethereum and Tron networks. Eh, I don't really care about Tether, but that's that's fine. They're using they're using gold. They're using Ethereum and they're using Tron. So. All right, so that's good. How much is, what's the market cap of Tether? Uh, they have a 24 hour volume of 34.7 billion and they have a circulating supply of 4.6 million Tether coins. Wow, that's kind of insane. Tether doesn't have that much supply. Oh wait, I misread that, 4.6 billion. Yeah, that's why I like having the commas here. So they have 4.6 billion tether. Damn, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Well, that's good. So that's a, that's a lot of trade volume for uh, Tron and Ethereum and all that stuff. So it's very good. Litecoin creator Charlie predicts Bitcoin how many will be self-fulfilling prophecy. Eh, we don't really need to know the, uh, read this. I mean, we know. Oh, actually, maybe we do. I just want to see what he has to say. All right, so we'll put that over there. Excuse me. It's important for me to burp even a little bit because uh, if I don't, then I get hiccups and then like it affects the video and you know it's just annoying having hiccups. Ripple's cross border payments. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, that's good. Don't really need to read that. Satoshi Nakamoto's big Bitcoin prediction could prove to be wrong. So that's early. Now that's actually kind of interesting. What is this? I actually want to read that first. Uh, substantial growth. Wait, crypto is poised for saying this $5 billion. Uh, we only need want to know what the industry is. Well, that could be an interesting uh, thumbnail. Uh, let's see. Digital asset borrowing lending market saw substantial momentum. Oh, okay. So this is for like mortgage lending and uh, just lending money in general. So that's actually pretty good. $5 billion lending uh, industry. 
All right, very good, very good. So that means, you know, cryptocurrency adoption becomes more fundamental and mainstream, and that's what we want. Because all this stuff ultimately means Bitcoin will hit a million dollars or more, and then cryptocurrency will also just go up a lot in value. So, because again, cryptocurrency is the future now. Um, and, you know, it's time for us to get rich off of that. Is Bitcoin worth the hype? Two questions now. Uh, Lady Crypto, there is exchange launching XRP swats, swaps. Bitmex, okay. Well, I don't think I don't think Bitmex is available in America. So now, okay, okay, and this is some old, uh, an old article. All right, so let's take a look at this. Satoshi Nakamoto's big Bitcoin prediction could prove to be wrong. Hmm. The Oscar Bitcoin may have been wrong. Uh, so, oh, Gavin and and Andreessen, okay. Andreessen first discovered. Bitcoin 2010 eventually became uh, Bitcoin's lead developer. Says Satoshi Nakamoto's prediction that Bitcoin will either have high transaction volume or zero volume by 2030 could prove to be way off base. Um, I don't know. Well, I don't think it's going to be zero, but high transaction volume is pretty vague. Computer scientist says the prediction ignores the possibility of a middle ground where Bitcoin is still used but remains a niche store of value that's neither forgotten nor ab abandoned nor fully mainstream. Uh, I mean, this could be possible. Uh, Idrisi began working with Satoshi in December 2010. His last, yeah, all right, we don't need a history lesson there. A day later, Idrisi publicly announced his plan to give a speech on Bitcoin at the headquarters of CIA in June of that year. Maybe that may play a role in Satoshi's disappearance. Oh, wait, this is a history lesson. Uh... Yeah, the real Satoshi Nakamoto was really paranoid about the CIA coming after him. Maybe he, maybe he was really woke on a uh, certain tribe. So he was like, you know what, fuck this, I'm out. Here you go, Gavin, here's the keys uh, for Bitcoin. <laughs> Sayonara. In recent years, Idris has emerged as a supporter of Ethereum and recently talked about his favorite crypto project in 2018 and 2019. Yeah, cryptocurrencies uh, really went down, uh, unfortunately. Uh, oh, and that's the end of that. All right, so that's what Gavin's been up to. He's moved on to like Ethereum. Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's like Bitcoin could really just be anything. All I know is it's probably not going to be zero. So it's just a matter of how high will it be. Litecoin creator Charlie predicts Bitcoin halving will be self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, da -da -da. um uh. Okay, short-term price effect of Bitcoin. Uh, like the halving of Litecoin becomes a self fulfilling prophecy. If people think the price will go up, they will buy, which causes the price to go up. So I think we'll blah, blah, blah. Uh, a lot of people say the halving price do because you know that ahead of time, the market is participated by humans, and humans are emotional, and they try to fit patterns. With Litecoin last year, we saw the price go up quite a bit before the halving, and then after the halving, it actually dropped quite a lot. And that just happens. Yeah, that's exactly what happened with Bitcoin in 2016. That's what always happens when Bitcoin helps. It doesn't immediately go up because it's already priced in. In fact, it's being priced in now. And then once the halving goes in, then it either flatlines or it goes down a bit. But then it eventually recovers and then it skyrockets because eventually the fundamentals get too strong to ignore. And that is what the bull run is. The fundamentals become too strong to ignore. Uh, that is why my Bitcoin channel is dedicated solely to studying fundamentals essentially because that's how i make my decisions you know getting rich is actually based mostly on being patient and doing research years in advance so that when the time comes you're already in position to buy or sell or you know to you know to take the action because your window of opportunity is actually generally pretty short-lived Right? You have enough time to take advantage, but you have to set everything up uh, beforehand, right? Because eventually the bull or bear markets don't last forever, right? This bear market that I've been complaining about for the past year and a half on my videos is, is, it, is over, right? But during that time, you either could have been like, oh man, Bitcoin crash, everything sucks, I'm not going to do anything. Or you look at the half full part of the glass and go, you know what, everything's really cheap. Now's a good time to buy up everything so that when the bear market's over, everything goes up in price. And then basically I make like a million dollars from like 10 bucks or something, right? So that's how you have to think. Um, and finally, yeah, you know, the bear market's over. So now everything's going back up, right? Hey, I still, I still remember a little earlier last year when Bitcoin was like $3,000 a piece. Now it's at 87.54. In nine months, 
yeah, about nine months, you made uh, almost 200% return if you just simply held your Bitcoin and bought at that point, right? That's how you got to think. Uh, so, you know, for those of you, again, especially, because, uh, especially for those of you who are watching me from Discord, which you better be, because I just told you on Discord, you better be promoting my videos, right? You, you know, you, if you want to complain about 404 coin not going anywhere, or JFC or 2x2 coin not going anywhere, then why aren't you helping promote the, the daily content? Because this is the update. This is, uh, because what cryptocurrency project, aside from the major cryptos you know put their actual face on the internet that actually gives you daily updates that's what this fucking video is for so you know you're not asked i'm not asking you to do much but you still have to do something otherwise you can't complain that the price is going down that much well actually you can complain but you know if you want to uh mitigate the effects of uh shit going down you know you better start promoting you know my you know youtube channel to like wherever all right, you don't have to. You don't even have to fully watch it. Just, just put in your form signature and like, have other people take a look. Right? You know, it's a, it's a community coin, so you gotta like pitch in and help. If you don't do that, well, I mean, yeah, don't expect it to go anywhere. Right? You can't rely on just me to do all the work. Even though I will do all the work, we can make a lot more money if you pitch in just even that little bit. Lee, who famously sold all of his Litecoin in 2017, late 17, you know, avoiding a conflict of interest, talked about his thesis. Da, 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 da. Investing in Litecoin is more volatile than investing in Bitcoin. That is true. That's also why I hold my shit in Litecoin, right? Because believe it or not, it's actually very stable, right? When Bitcoin goes up like 100%, Litecoin goes up like two, 300%. Uh, and that's what we want. That's how we make. Uh, that's how we make the big money. Like, that's my personal choice. All of you could do uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever. But Litecoin, I feel, is, uh, and I've mentioned this before. I'll mention it again. Litecoin, I feel, is the best middle ground uh, compromise. You know, you get you get good volatility, which means you get very strong gains, better than everyone else. But it's not so crazy that it becomes a gamble, like Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV. Although I think you'll probably be okay with Bitcoin and Cash and SV, I personally not choose not to work with this because I don't like Roger Ver and I don't like Craig Wright, the the, the stupid assholes that run those projects, um, because they're dishonest, manipulative, evil people, <clears throat> and I'm just not going to help them with that. All right, <clears throat> there are plenty of other choices where I don't have to resort to you know supporting evil, lying bastards. So that that's a personal choice I make. Investing Litecoin is more valuable. So, hey, did I make, finish my point? But yeah, so when Bitcoin hits a million dollars or 500K, which is what my Twitter video from last year predicts, Litecoin should be anywhere from 60 grand to 100 grand to 200,000. So, right now, Litecoin's at $59 essentially. This becomes $60,000. Yeah, you're basically printing millions of dollars out of thin air. And you don't have to do anything. You just buy it, you hold it in a secure place, and then just wait a couple of years. You know, and then, like I said, we're going to short the Bitcoin markets at the, uh, you know, before uh, at the peak, right? Which is why we keep track of CAN, we keep track of ETFs and stuff like that, because that's how we're going to short the market, All right? And again, worst comes to worst, we go to Ledger X to, you know, buy one-year put options, which I do not like at all, right? Because one year is too short. You're you're basically gambling, right? Um, but with a two-year put option. Then your gamble becomes uh, much better. It becomes more of like a speculation thing. Because the more time you have for a prediction to come true, uh, mathematically, it's just guaranteed that your probability of being right increases. That's why the longer, that's why it's called in stock market trading, uh, the time premium of a stock option, right? Because that, because time is valuable. One year is not enough. Uh, but you know, I'll, I'll probably do it if we don't have a, a, a we don't have a better choice in a year or two. Uh, but hopefully, the SEC does come up uh, does approve a Bitcoin ETF. That's all we need. Investing Litecoin is more volatile. Oh, I read that. Da, da, da. So you're holding Litecoin. You're actually making more money than you would holding Bitcoin. And then during the bull ratio goes up. Oh yeah. So he's saying. So Charlie Lee is saying exactly what I realized on my own, right? So you know. I, I, I guess if I just knew programming, I would have been as rich as Charlie Lee. But uh, I'm making up. I'm making up for that now by making the game. So, 
Yeah. So uh, yeah, he said he said he said he said exactly what I just said because that's a fundamental uh, mechanic of investing in general, right? You know, the more volatility, the more valuable it is. But it, it, but um, what you might call it, the, the greater the risk, right? Greater the reward, greater the ri uh, risk. All right. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash the Lemon Factor BTC. Uh, well, I've been only doing one video a day, so you know now that I have to pass up pass up on the uh, you know uh, political stuff. And wow, this video was 35 minutes long. How is that possible? But either way, I guess it's good because now, because now that I only have one video to do, you know, I have to pack a lot of information in each of these videos. So, you know, but either way, keep promoting. Uh, I do see that people, more people are watching the video. So I assume, thank you, Discord, you're actually doing something. But remember, you know, uh, you know, yes, listen to my videos, get the reassurance. So you don't have to keep asking the same question in Discord. And then number two, yeah, you know, start promoting my channel so that like more people you know, hear about the project because people are going to invest in cryptocurrency. So it might as well be, you know, these cryptos, right? You know, because you have the advantage of an actual real person, it's technically two real people actually working on it. We're not going to be like, you know, platinum bar coin or, well, maybe, well, compound coin still kind of okay. They still have real people, but we actually will be developing shit. We are actually real people and we will not be abandoning the project. You know, again, worst comes to worst, we'll do a coin swap on jmc for four coin and possibly uh two by two coin we're gonna have to talk to the two by two coin dev and then just basically take that over right and then we'll create like a super proof of stake coin and then we'll lower the apr and then at that point my game should more than well be out uh the cryptocurrency integration should be uh, available and then from there you know we'll have a very stable thing to work with uh, and I'm talking about my game will also take other cryptocurrency too. So it could take Litecoin, it could take Dogecoin. But I think for the most part, I'll have it just take Monero because I want to try to keep the options simple, right? So either way, you know, we've got a pretty good future. However, in the short to medium term, it may be a little uncomfortable. But the good news is uh, now that people are getting over the China flu stuff, crypto is going up. And it also looks like, you know, 4 4 coin is also uh, going up as well. So, uh, so, so far, so good, but I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to hope that 404 coin goes back up to like the twenties again, but we'll just have to see. It's got, it's got, so it's got a tough, it's got a tough row to hoe. I think that's the saying, but, uh, yeah, it'll hang in there, you know? So anyway, enjoy the rest of your day or night. I will see you on tomorrow's videos and wow, 37 minutes and 50 seconds. That's, uh. That's quite a lot. So see you all tomorrow. Thanks. Judson Chan, JFC coin, 404 coin, and oh, we need a. Uh, yeah, here we go. This is a pretty decent thumbnail. Yep. So yeah, if you're on Discord, you know, start promoting these videos. Start promoting the channel at least so other people can watch it and learn. All right. Because this is more than just a cryptocurrency channel, it's a way of life. Right. I'll teach you how to get rich. I'll teach you the, the ways of salvation through Jesus Christ in the whatever crappy way that I can. Uh, and then probably other life lesson stuff too. But, you know, for now, the, the fundamental basis will still be cryptocurrency and investing. Because obviously we don't have money. Well, you know, you, you can't pay the bill. If you can't pay the bill, then you don't have any internet or electricity. If you don't have that, then how are you going to watch my content, right? <laughs> so it's a, it's a self-reinforcing uh, uh, loop.